Hello, everybody. This is back to the beginning here. In fact, this is the butt end of a big hemlock tree. It's probably about three, well, four feet wide. And it's all flared out and ugly. So this is the full video of us uh, trying to make it into firewood, use the axe or the split and maul first, take as much as we can. And then from there, you'll see as the video progresses, we get into the chainsaw because there's just no way we'll get it without a without some type of machinery in this case chainsaw uh, we don't have a uh, a machine for splitting so and we wouldn't be able to get a machine for splitting up there to it anyway and there's no way we'd re-roll re re this out it's just way too big so this is the full video of us doing the uh, takedown of this and hope you enjoy it uh, don't do any cutting or editing in this so you see the full story hope you have a good one Thanks for watching. Hello, everybody. Just wanted to interject here real quick and just show you some, some theory behind what we're doing here. I'm just going to use a piece of wooden coaster that I got here as a demonstrator. So I'll turn the video around here and you can see. So here we have this coaster. Pretend this coaster is the round of wood that we're cutting. So the theory is we're, we're using the ax to try to cut off some of the edges, but it's so many flared pieces coming into it and just so many different growth patterns, it's hard to cut. So we cut as much off as we can with the ax around the edges. And then we'll later on in the video, you'll see we'll roll it up on its edge and use the chainsaw for cutting. One thing that's important, I never, ever, ever chainsaw across here because that just makes your chain so dull across the edge. If you turn it on its side, although this is very narrow, it would be much wider as a round. You want to chainsaw it this way. So this is the chainsaw, cutting it down that way. And it's just easier on the chainsaw. It's, it, it's easier on the chain. If you try cutting it this way, you will dull your chain so hard, and it's so hard on the chain, you just, and you just get powder coming out of that. So if you cut it on the side, on the edge, then, and then the, the way that you're cutting with the grain, you're not cutting across grain, you're cutting with the grain. That's when you get the big noodles. Like you get long stringy noodles, which is kind of nice and interesting sawdust. I use it for the garden. So that's the theory. Take as much off as you can. Don't have a splitter. Turn up on edge. Use the chainsaw. Coming straight down and cut it into wedges. Split it one more time, I said. Oh, okay. Getting some. Fifty pounds later, at least.
Yeah. Well, it's going. Better than I thought it was going to go. Still tough, though. <clears throat> We're gnawing a little bit off of it. Your helmet on? I can put your helmet on in here. Okay. Yeah. You never know a branch could fall off the wind. Okay. Difference between life and death. We can roll this up there once you get that wood out of the way. What'd you say? What if we can roll it over? It's got a lot lighter now. It's about 100 pounds lighter at least. Hey? Yeah. Take some of these out. Hmm? Take some of these out though.
Okay, let's see if we can flip this up. I have my doubts. I mean, you can always flip it up this way, but I'd rather go closer. We're kind of working against gravity here, but either this is going to be doable or impossible. Well, I guess that's like anything in life, but okay, let's try it. One, two, three. Wait, hold on. One, two. Why is that horrible? <laughs> Okay, can you go get a... No, 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 no. I want to leave it there. I think I'm going to cut it with a oh. saw. What do you want? Get a, get a board there. Or a thickening. Stick it underneath there so it's a little bit more upright. That should do. There, and I can maybe noodle it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about that, right? Well, I'll just get that wood out of the way there for me, and then go down here and start doing yeah. this. Throw it under that pile there.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time. <laughs>